Now we'll start the another important chapter today that is the haloalkanes and haloarenes. Haloalkanes and haloarenes are the compound in which particular case the hydrogen atom of alkane group that can be replaced by the halogen or hydrogen of the uh, aromatic compound benzene or other compound that can be replaced by the halogen. If the in case of that um, haloalkane that will be the formation of actually the alkyl halide and in case of the haloarenes in that particular case uh, that will be replaced by the that is actually called the aryl halide. Uh, so seeing is that in case of haloalkane and haloarenes that if I take that aliphatic compound RH that can be replaced by the halogen where H is the fluorine, bromine, chlorine, iodine or ARH that H can be replaced by the X. X is fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. This R we are taking as the uh, conventionally that is the alkyl group so automatically this is called the alkyl halide or haloalkane. So R is that will be alkyl halide or we can say haloalkane whereas ARX that can be called as the aryl halide. or haloarene. So haloalkane and haloarene actually it is observed that uh, in case of the haloalkane uh, or alkyl halide the halogen is attached to the sp3 hybridized carbon atom of organic compound uh, or uh, sp3 hybridized carbon atom of the actual uh, alkane whereas in case of the aryl halide the Halogen is attached to the sp2 hybridized carbon of the aryl group. So, case of the alkyl halide, we can say X is attached to sp3 hybridized carbon atom whereas in case of the aryl halide X is attached to sp2 hybridized carbon atom now this uh, haloalkane and haloarene actually that um, generally they are occur in the nature and they are very much clinically useful also. Now we will go for the classification of the particular compound. classification of haloalkane or haloarene that actually is a larger classification that can be observed
So we can say this is the classification of haloalkane and haloalkene. First one classification is the on basis of number of the halogen atom. On basis of the number of halogen atom. Now the second one is the compounds containing that sp3 cx bond compound containing sp3 hybridized cx where x is the fluorine chlorine bromine iodine and third one is the compound containing sp2 cx sp2 cx now that can be further classified into the three different type Compounds containing sp3cx that can be further classified into the three different type. One is the alkyl halide. Or haloalkane that is the Rx. Another one is the allylic halide. Allylic halides. And third one is the benzylic halides. So one is the alkyl halides, another one is the allylic halides, third one is the benzylic halides. Similarly, compounds containing the sp2CX bond that can be further classified into the two different types, two different types. One is the vinylic halides, another one is the aryl halides. Vinylic halides and another one is the aryl halides. So this is the total classification of the haloalkene and haloarenes on basis of number of the halogen atoms. Compounds containing sp3CX bond, compounds containing sp2CX bond, compounds containing sp3CX bond, where H is the fluorine chlorine bromine iodine. That can be further classified into the three different types. One is called alkyl halides or haloalkene, Rx type of the compound. Another one is that allylic halides, third one is that benzylic halides. Compounds containing sp2CX bond, where H is the fluorine chlorine bromine iodine. That can be further classified into the two different types. One is the vinylic halides, another one is the aryl halides or ARX. Now, if we go for the step by step on of the particular classification, then The first one is that on basis of number of the halogen atoms, we can say A on 
बेसिस ऑफ नंबर ऑफ हेलोजेन एटम्स नाउ इफ द हेलोजेन एटम इज अ वन दैट इज कॉल्ड द मोनोहेलाइट इफ द हेलोजेन एटम इज टू दैट इज कॉल्ड द डाई हेलाइट एंड थ्री ट्राई टेट्रा एंड सो ऑन दिस इज कॉल्ड द पॉली कॉम्पाउंड ऑल्सो so if the compound is like that ch2s c2h5a say like that that can be called monohaloalkane mono halo alkane and if the compound is like that that can be called dihaloalkane or compound is like that that is called trihaloalkane similarly if you go for the aromatic compound like that that will be called mono halo erin if we go for the compound like that then that will be called dai Hello, Erin. Or if the compound nature is like that, that will be called tri hello Erin. So it is observed that if then depending on the number of the halogen uh, attached to the alkyl group or aryl group, that can be called as the mono hello alkene, di hello alkene, tri hello alkene, and so on. mono halo erin di halo erin tri halo erin and so on so this is the first classification second one is that compounds containing that uh, sp3 cx bond compound containing that sp3cx bond now under that one will be the alkyl halide alkyl halide is there where the halogen is directly attached to the carbon of sp3 hybridized carbon of the uh, alkane and that means one hydrogen will be replaced by the actual halogen group and they can form the homologous series like that c n h 2n plus x name is the number of uh, that may be number of 1 2 5 10 if i go for the one then c h 3 c x c h 3 x that will be the methyl halide if we go for the in 2 so that will be the 2 means 5 ultimately so c 2 h 5 is al um, alkyl ethyl halide like that depending on the halogen attached to the carbon nature of the carbon that can be also subdivided into the three different type primary secondary and tertiary say r c h h x here the halogen is attached to the carbon which contains the two minimum two hydrogen that is called the primary if the compound is like that secondary or two degree primary or 
that is the one degree. Secondary, two degree. R C R dash R double dash X. No hydrogen. That is called the tertiary. Three D. So that is the one classification. Alkyl halide. Now, now the number two is that allylic halide. Allylic halide means the halogen is attached to that carbon, sp3 hybridized carbon, which is attached to the carbon-carbon double bond. So in that case, that halogen is attached to sp3 hybridized carbon. Which is just adjacent to carbon carbon double bond. So, what will be the type of the compound? This will be the allyl group actually. Compound will be like that. This one. Here, the halogen is attached to that carbon, which carbon is attached to the carbon-carbon double bonded compound. So this is a sp3 hybridized, but this group type of the compound is called the allylic part. Halogen is attached to that one. If I go for the aromatic compound, then we will observe CH2 X. Say we can say CH2 X. Here also same thing, X, that can be, uh, or we can say like that compound also, if I take that one, carbon, carbon, double bond, that will be that, this one, carbon, carbon, double bond, that carbon is that, and this is a, a sp3, hydrogen, uh, hydrogen is attached to that, that will be the allied. Now, another one is the benzylic. Third one is the benzylic halide. Benzylic halide means the halogen is attached to the carbon, sp3 hybridized carbon. That carbon is attached directly to the aromatic group. So in that case, the halogen attached, halogen is attached to the sp3 hybridized carbon, which is directly attached aromatic ring like that benzylic sp3 hybridized attached to the aromatic group. now that can be also further subdivide like that 1 degree or 2 degree next one is compound containing that sp 2 C X bond. Compounds containing sp 2 C X bond that 
subdivided two times. One is the Vinaydik. Vinaydik halide. The, in that case, the erosin that is attached to the uh, directly attached to the sp2 hybridized carbon of a carbon carbon double bond. In that case, that halogen is directly attached to sp2 hybridized carbon sp2 hybridized carbon atom of a carbon carbon double bond cc double bond compound like that this is the vinylic halide another one is that aryl halide where the compounds where the halogen is attached to the directly benzene ring or aromatic group that is called the aryllic halide, aryl halide, sp2 hybrid is also, that halogen is directly attached to sp2 hybridized carbon atom of aromatic ring. So these are the classification of uh, haloalkane or haloarene. This classification can be represented by Abdhan learning pattern like that. As the total classification is the three, so that can be represented by the Abhan learning pattern by the triangle method. Classification of haloalkane and haloarenes. First one is that on basis of number of halogen. Compounds containing SP3CX bond. and the compounds containing SP2CH4. So this is the Abhan learning pattern through which we can represent that classification of haloalkane and haloalkane.